Lawyers representing 38,000 litigants have accused the ANZ Bank of charging unfair fees to boost its profit margins. And they say they have proof the strategy to increase revenue went all the way to the top. More from our consumer affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. It's the biggest lawsuit of its kind in Australia. At stake is $50 million in bank fees that class action specialist Morris Blackburn says ANZ illegally charged its customers over six years. Senior counsel Michael Lee produced what he called a high-level document he says was discussed by the top echelons of ANZ and paints a damning picture for the bank's motives for charging a range of fees such as late payment fees and over-limit fees. The document discusses increasing dishonour fees while decreasing overdrawn fees. A stated objective to improve revenue streams while protecting disadvantaged customers. They show that at no stage really was ANZ under any illusions that these fees were just covering costs. The court also heard the executive summary of a 2009 policy document outlining a growing concern about the bad publicity surrounding its fees. And it was the view of some within the bank that if it had to drop its fees, it would lose profits and the bank would need to... Focus on strategy to cover a revenue gap. To do that, we could increase monthly service fees. The fees bear no relationship to the cost. What they are is a way of making uh, substantial profits. This case isn't just being monitored closely by the banking sector and by consumer groups. If the ANZ is found to have illegally penalised its customers, there could be far-reaching ramifications for any businesses locking consumers into contracts. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.